All right, chapter six, archaeologically. Introducing all the different kinds of the um, cultural resources, the hardest one of the recognized is to deal with any archaeological sites. One of the reasons there is for the many of them, after all the people have been living in the North America for at least 12,000 years, the traces have been left behind and are what the archaeologically is about. The two and then two archaeological sites can be must find anywhere and look at the like. Must be in anything that it must be underground, underwater, twice tucked away in caves, often shelved middens with the end of the farm line field, backyard gardens, as well as the cemetery sewers and the hazardous waste sites that contain artifacts such as arrowheads, civil war bullets, and strewn with the ground of level to bury buried deep inside with the old private wells. On the surface, they may be seen nothing more than a few random stones and a couple of the old pill pot, pot, post holes filled with dark soil. Occasionally, as well, in some sites with the important American Indian religious benefits of the tribal custom, they must contain nothing that can be seen or t- t- touched at all. And they are frequently located and isolated with the place. Often, however, that they are in place somewhere, but he wants to use them very good modern purposes of having nothing to do with the archaeological history of the site, such as sewer line and road and hangar of the gunnery range. Archaeological site is any of the area contained for the information such about the history of the period of the which the written records have been kept the prehistory of the time before the written records exist in the particular culture, such as the early Native American settlements, since there are, many, there are so many of them that not all archaeological sites can be considered important to, enough to list in the National Registered Historical Place with required special treatment that the archaeological significance of the site depends on, on how much information is likely to be yielded and important, but the information is likely that all the information is about with the past. It may be used to benefit the present or even in the future, as with the study of the various human diseases or this evaluation of the plants and rare animals. 6.2 Policy Regulation Objective List of, um, like historical buildings, other cultural properties, and archaeological sites are protected with under subsection uh, under Section 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act, the Archaeological Source for Resource Re- Archaeological Resource Protection Act of 1979, and ARPA. Our, our, uh, and Public Law 9695 made it federal crime to remove the archaeological artifacts from the site with the public lands without permit. Without a permit, it is also illegal to buy or sell or receive such artifacts. All right, six two evaluation, survey, and identification. Of the Navy is required with the Section one ten a two of the National Historical Preservation Act of the survey um, evaluate the archaeological site potential eligibility for the National Registry and historical place of the survey and evaluations carried out with the professional archaeologists are done in consultation with the State Historical Preservation Office. The survey reserves included with the historical preservation plan would include in the base master plan, which is the project's are plan for the areas contained with the archaeological sites included with the eligibility for the National Register, in which the first is necessary to consult with the State Historical Preservation Officer all about all the comments in the Advisory Council pursuant to Section 106 of the National Historical Preservation Act and Title 36 of the Code 800. From maintenance standpoint, the most important thing to do without the archaeological site is before digging and filing, f- filling and, and building on the site to be alerted with the fabric, um, fact that they may be present to be taking the step of the project when they come in across them, but the archaeological site should be consulted before planning with the new construction and demolition. They should give it a good idea of whether the particular area is likely to contain an important archaeological date. However, not if every potential site can be surveyed if they're finding something in the course of the work that looks archaeological, stop digging and check it out. Do not remove any of the object for its location on the site, protect the as from the place possible. Even the object of the looking sound may be incredibly fragile because of the age and the weathering. The location on the site report that we are discovering immediately to the engineering field division will consult with the secondary and interior required for the Archaeological Historical Preservation Act of 1974 for advice on how to deal with the site so that the arrangements can be made evaluated in the necessary provided with the permanent protection of archaeological resources, the state historic preservation officer and should be kept informed of these such discoveries. Excavation. Orderly protection means the leaving of the site and the loan with leaving the artifacts if they are any and when they are found in Suta. Um, some of the sample excavation may be done to decide how large the site and is how much what, what kind of information it is likely to contain exactly where the information is most likely to be found. Full scale archaeological excavation where the large portion of the site are dug up and the main and many artifacts of the objects as possible are taken out with a general note done unless the good reason for the belief that there may be useful information. Or it's salvage archaeologically, archaeolo- salvage archaeology. The artifacts may be removed from the storage and studies be site on the destroyed. 
um, to be destroyed by the left of the expert. Usually the expertise shoes are not to disturb the site. Yes, since they must be careful digging cause of a certain amount of the destruction. Most of the sites have been occupied once the humans have been occupied again and again. Perhaps the different purpose of the over the period of the maybe many years, the evidence for their occupation to be found layered with the oldest of evidence generally in the bottom level. Digging sometimes careful excavation re arranging the layers can be destroyed with the meaning of the evidence and some likelihood of the um, um, murder mystery in order to um, solve the crime that you ha you have to know exactly where and where when and where it was committed exactly you only want to find out one set of the fingerprints of the gun every time a site is disturbed some of the evidence is lost some of the most useful sites this is one of can um, answer the most any questions of the past is one of the been least um, disturbed. Fortunately, technology is constantly being improved to allow the archaeological to gather information non intrusive means without digging on the, into the site. Um, for instance, remote sensing techniques, also ultrasound and x-ray can often be created with a picture with what inside of the ground they out inside the human body. Artifacts as well as the field notes, other items obtained by the salvage of archaeological site of the Navy land, federal property. The Navy is responsible for the preservation standard procedure for the curation of the materials having been developed by the Secretary of Interior found in Title 36 um, CFR 79. 6-5. Underwater archaeologically, not all archaeological sites are in ground. Some of the lakes are shipwrecks and old coastal town sites or industrial sites that have been slid into the water or around under the water so the sites are also protected. All right, six six but burial sites. Archaeological sites containing human remains must be treated with special care and respect to human remains, along with the objective of the found within them that they are discovered. The Navy land or legally property of the Indian tribe, the Native American group with which they were associated, the most properly cared for the Navy land and Navy and requested return for the cultural program. Navy policies follow the guidance for the Secretary of the Interior dealing with the Native American human remains associated with the funerary objects. In November 1990, Congress passed the Native American Grave Protection and Reparation Act. The public law 101 601 specifically address the issue of ownership control of the such objects. The state historical preservation officer can usually be assistance in identifying the appropriate Native American context in this situation. All right, then in the appendix A is a historical biography, bibliography, um, with all these books, um, a whole bunch of books. Um, and then Penix B is a glossary. Penix C is state regulation standards and directives. Um, do you, and then um, all right, D1. D1 is the Appendix of Historical Preservation Responsibility. It goes over the National Register of Historical Places Registration Form. Statement significance, uh, big lateral fill, point of contacts, and it shows your Navy Facility Engineering Command, Northern Division, Chesapeake Division, Atlantic, Western, Southwest, Southern, D Pacific, D Pacific Advisory Council, National Register of Western Division, National Park Services, um, addresses, more addresses, um, State Historic Preservation Officers, Florida, Florida, State Historical Preservation Office, City Administration, 1350 Pennsylvania, and Northwest District Building, Washington. Wait, State Historical Preservation Office, Director, Vision and Historical Resource, Department of State, RA Gray Building, 500 S. Brongan Street, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399 And then an index.